What's up you guys? Today I'm giving you the best gummy bear recipe ever. This is the real deal unlike those jello stuff in the other videos. We're gonna make the best gummy bears that will take you back to your childhood before your uncle took your innocence. So here's what you need. Gelatin is produced from animal skins or bones. Now I never have a shortage of animal remains thanks to my little sister Shelly's violent tendencies. But if your sister doesn't like murdering her pets when she gets bored, you can always order it online. I had to harvest mine from our cat Mr. Bubbles after Shelly was done with him. But this way, he will always be a part of us. Let's get started. First we're gonna bloom our gelatin. And for this you need cold water or the fruit juice of your choice. However, some fruits have an enzyme called bromelain that breaks down gelatin, like pineapple. Now I know some of you guys are thinking, I don't remember signing up for a chemistry class, mother get on with it. But I just wanna make sure you get the right results. So if you wanna make pineapple gummies, just use artificial flavoring. But if you refuse the artificial and won't settle for anything less than the organic pineapple juice, simply switch the gelatin with silicone and dye. After 15 minutes, your gelatin will bloom and flourish like your childhood friend Allison who ditched her body cast, broke up with her abusive boyfriend, and got a breast augmentation to welcome 5th grade with a brand new attitude. Once it solidifies and has the texture of the breast implants that gave Allison her autoimmune disease, your mixture will be ready to use. It's time to make the sugar syrup and for this you need a candy thermometer. Now some of you might be intimidated by using a candy thermometer or you might just be refusing to incorporate any kind of technology into your baking because of your religious beliefs. But whether you're Amish or just a f***ing I got you covered. Just heat the sugar until it's dissolved and once it's cooled, add your gelatin. Then reheat until everything's mixed. We're just going to heat the sugar and water or the juice until the thermometer reads 250 Fahrenheit or 121 Celsius. Once you hit that mark, let the mixture cool to 210 Fahrenheit or 98 Celsius before adding the gelatin so the heat doesn't reduce its effect. When you add the cold gelatin, it will drop the temperature even further, so reheat your final mixture up to 210 Fahrenheit until everything's homogenous. Now it's time to add the flavoring and the citric acid, which you might also know as lemon salt or nose candy. You can even use regular acid and see what happens. Before we fill the molds, we need to get rid of the white foam in our mixture so our gummy bears don't look like they have rabies. Now the foam will always gather at the top, so you can either remove it now or you can wait for it, freeze the entire mixture, cut off the top part before reheating it back to its liquid form. I'm going to do the former because it's less time consuming and I still have to go pick up some stationery for my Uncle Toby's signs so he can make it to the local abortion clinic on time. It's time to color our gummy bears. I chose to go with red, which corresponds to the cherry flavor and makes it more crimson. You can always use regular food coloring, but if you want, you can use a more natural substitute. After we get rid of all the white stuff, like your mom does from her chin, we're gonna transfer the mixture to the molds using a dropper. Gummy bears are gonna be very sticky at first, so you might have a hard time removing them from the molds. To overcome this, lightly brush your molds with a flavorless oil before pouring in the mixture and let the gummies sit in the freezer for at least an hour before taking them out. These gummy bears need to rest like this so we can aerate the most surface space. Now this is where your patience comes in because you have to wait two days for them to get that star-bought texture. But if my sister Shelly's science teacher could wait an entire year for her to turn 15 before impregnating her, you can wait two days for these gummy bears to dry out. These gummy bears are drier than your grandma's nether regions and they're ready for consumption. Before you go, please, please, please make sure you click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, click on the worship button, click on the I'll donate my kidney for your sister Shelly's science class so they can poke it with a pencil button, and make sure you check out our other videos and follow us on Instagram and other social media. Our Instagram link is in the description box. It is there so you can click on it, so you can follow so you can be worth something in this world. Don't forget to turn on the notifications and you can go now.